Hello everybody, or should I say aloha. We're here at Disney's Polynesian Village Beach Resort for the Ohana Best Friends Breakfast with Lilo and Stitch. We are gonna do the full experience updated for 2024. I've only done this breakfast once before and it was years ago. So we're gonna bring you along for a beautiful day at Disney's Polynesian with Lilo and Stitch and friends. Let's go. Today's March 26th. It is stunning out, gorgeous day. And I've got Sam with me. Hello, I'm ready to eat. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Good morning, Monorail. Entering the Polynesian is always the most beautiful experience. Look at this. The music, the torches, the waterfalls. This is a very nice way to start the day so far. Aloha, family. Aloha. Oh, thank you. Sure. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Look at this lovely lobby. All right, we got to go upstairs to get checked in. Up to the second floor. That was cool how we got greeted, right? Yeah. All right, we checked in and now we're in the line to get seated. We'll see what table we get. Hopefully, have a good seat. Thank you. You also get this card, this character card, yeah. signed by everyone who will be meeting today. So cute. Oh. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Our little Ohana pup. <laughs> the best pup. Look, we match. <laughs> you taking a sniff? They smell like uh, pineapple, coconut. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hope you get some breakfast too. <laughs> Save some for Pluto. <laughs> Bye. Oh, thank you. No. So the breakfast comes with complimentary coffee and juice. That's good. And you can also order like cocktails, mimosas for extra. <laughs> Just got Pluto right there. Good morning. Cheers. It's good, right? It's like pineapple, mango. Tropical. Tropical. Yeah. I like Mickey's shirt. I like it too. I, mean, I wish I could, uh, I wish Let, I could purchase that. Let's ask him where he got it. Started us off with some sweet bread and fruit. And Sam is ready. I'm ready. He's got fork and knife in hand. This is pineapple bread. Pineapple bread with like glaze on it. There you go. That's first piece for you. <laughs> so much fun. It was. A big round of applause for the come around to every table that will make their way around so no worries you just stay seated chill enjoy your breakfast and we're on our first course now with the Hawaiian bread and well like a glazed pineapple bread and some fruit and coffee and juice this is freshly made pineapple coconut bread it's really light and fluffy and it's got a nice glaze on it it's nice oh my god it's just coming Sam looks so nervous are you nervous <laughs> stitch is right there you ready, Sam? He's coming. I'm ready to greet you. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey's right there. Sandwich. <laughs> You're sandwiched. Yeah. All right, let's see who gets to us first. How are you? Hi, Stitch. Yeah, We're glad you're here. Glad you haven't eaten our breakfast yet. <laughs> Stitch is trouble. Oh. Am I doing it right, Stitch? Like this? Yeah. Got it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Stitch. <laughs> I got a big lick. I got a big Stitch lick. <laughs> All better. Hey, it's Mickey Mouse. Yeah. 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 Where can I buy it? Oh, you made it? Oh my gosh, he hand stitched. Minnie, made it. Minnie did Minnie it. Made it. Minnie did it yeah. for sure. It's got to be Minnie. I'll have to ask Minnie when I see it. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Thank you. You look like real Hawaiian besties. We just got off the cruise, Mickey. All right. Hanging out with you and Minnie out there. The best. The absolute best. Yeah. 
Got it. We're loving the coconut bread. We're loving everything. It is delicious. Tell your chefs. Great job. <laughs> And good job on the shirt. Yeah, great shirt. <laughs> we have to ask Minnie about like the pattern, the sewing pattern for that. Yeah, I'll ask her next time I see her. Maybe I'll go to the beach breakfast. Thank you, Mickey. Bye. Bye. Look, I think I have at this point an advanced degree in character pantomiming. But I, Sam, just, yeah, you you figured that out quick. I, I really like the shirt, so yeah. I'm going to find out where this is from. Yeah, yeah. He was good. He yeah. was quick on the money. I figured Minnie probably made it. Yeah, Minnie is really good. All right, our breakfast skillets have arrived. So this is very cute. We not only have Mickey waffles, but we have Stitch waffles. I can touch it because only we're eating them. And this skillet, you get different sizes. You get a big skillet if you're a big party, a small if you're small, but it's all you care to eat. So we can ask for more as much as we want, which I have a feeling we will be doing. There's sausage and ham in here and eggs and potatoes and biscuits. Go on, Sam. I know you want a sausage. I want a sausage. Get in there. The ham looks really nice. And it's got like pineapple all over it. I definitely want some sausage. Get some potatoes. These look like homemade fries. Get these fruit out of here. We're done with the fruit. All right, egg time. At first I thought that's not enough eggs, but it's definitely more than it looked like. Let's give it a go. Eggs, normal scrambled eggs, pineapple ham. Nice. Sausage, normal breakfast sausage. Most breakfast meals at Disney World, whether they're characters or not, are gonna be your basics, eggs, meat, bread. But it's just basically normal breakfast food with a little bit of a Hawaiian tropical twist with some like pineapple flavors and stuff. Classic Mickey waffle. It's one of the special things you get at Disney breakfasts. No cute is the stitch waffle. Lilo is just around the corner. She's about to meet our table next, and we're one skillet down. Got another one on the way. You can ask for as much as you want. If there's something specific you like and you want just more of that, like bring me a heaping pile of waffles, you can. But we're good on the waffles. We're just getting the like breakfast skillet. Hello. Lilo, hi. How are you? Oh, yay. We saw Stitch running around, causing trouble, being cute. <laughs> Oh, Hannah. Thank you. Thank you. Aww, so cute. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. Thank you, Lilo. That was cute. You're, you're like red. Oh, that was really cute. You got Lilo'd. <laughs> All right, second skillet down. Uh, by the time the second skillet comes, this happens every time. Yeah. You're like, I'm full. <laughs> but whatever. I won't leave a good sausage though. No. We'll we'll get some more of that. There we go. I'm still working on my first round. The view is spectacular. There's a big open kitchen. Lots of light in the dining room. Really cool atmosphere. That's a big part of it. Obviously for the breakfast too, a big part of it is the characters. I'm loving this window here. We got a great seat. Sam, how you feeling? Cool. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and definitely important to remember that you can get your pass holder discount here, so make sure you mention it. You don't need the card, but you know, you can use the app. <laughs> They're doing the dance again. <laughs> Perfect way to wrap up our meal. That was so much fun. A big round of applause for the Ohana Aloha celebration. Ready to go. You're doing the dance. <laughs> for the next parade. <laughs> no one's clapping. No, why aren't they clapping for us? Have a good day, cousins. Thank you. Hi, Mickey. All right, let's head downstairs. It smells so good in this lobby, right? It's like that Polynesian resort fresh smell. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Let's step outside, enjoy the day. Ooh, nice. 
So I would say for the Ohana breakfast, food-wise, it was just okay, right? Yeah, it's definitely not my favorite breakfast option. Yeah, at Disney, I agree. Unless you really like Lilo and Stitch, of course. Right, so the whole thing about character dining is part of what you're paying for and part of what you're coming for is to meet the characters, right? So if you want to see Lilo and Stitch and Mickey and Pluto in Hawaiian outfits, which is yeah. unique and different, then it is worth it. But if for the food, I would say it's definitely not worth it. So for the experience, sure. Yeah, and I am someone who's not really into meeting characters, <laughs> right. but it's cute. It is fun. cute, yeah. yeah. The characters cute. are fun and cute, yeah. the little dance they do and stuff. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that aspect. Me too. The food, just okay. Just okay, yeah. The juice is nice. The juice is nice. Mm. And I would say that the Ohana dinner has yes. the more special food. We've been for that and like the noodles and yeah. stuff. If you want good Ohana food, yeah. you go for the dinner, but there's no characters at the dinner. Yeah, so my, I prefer the dinner. Yeah, Obviously. food wise, <laughs> but for the characters, the, what makes it special is the atmosphere, the theming, and the characters. I think if I had to choose personally, I prefer like an actual buffet. Mm -hmm. So I would choose the character dining of Chef Mickey's. For breakfast. Yeah, for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's walk around. Sadly, the walkway to the Grand Floridian is still closed because of the construction they're doing on the new DVC tower. Hopefully that'll reopen soon because it's a beautiful walk. So you can see over here, all the, and you can hear it too, all the construction going on on that. Wow. We're gonna walk out to the beach and take in some views of Magic Kingdom, the new DVC tower that they're building and enjoy the Polynesian beach. Cause when you're here, you're Ohana. It didn't make sense, but you know. There are the bungalows, the resort boats, so cute. This is a rare sight to see, an empty beach. It's a great place to watch the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Oh my gosh, there's this loud beeping, do you hear it? Must be from the construction. Oh, the pool looks so nice. Gotta get some sand in those sneakers. So yeah, a lot has changed since last time I was here to look at this. I still don't think this building really fits in with the Polynesian theming, but maybe it will more and more as it comes together. I do like that it's multi-layered, so at least it's not one big concrete square. We've seen the concept art, so we have an idea of what it'll look like. The one thing I will say is that these rooms facing the lagoon are gonna have an amazing fireworks view. And this new DVC resort, you can see it's placed between the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian. And right in there is the Grand Floridian Wedding Chapel. There used to be a Polynesian dinner show here that they demolished to build this. And there was a beach that was just an open access beach. And you could walk between these two resorts and it was a beautiful walk. Right now it's closed for this. Hopefully it'll reopen when this opens so that guests can still enjoy all of that. Look at him. He's really enjoying this. He's been growing his hair out. <laughs> I caught that happening. I was whispering to them about how you've been growing your hair out. I'll get it for you, honey. Let's get that sand out of there. Here you go. There you go. Let me give you a swing. Getting along. I shut my eyes for a minute. You're zoning out? It's very relaxing, isn't it? Enjoy. With the soft Hawaiian music. Sure. He's so cute. Mind if I join you? Always open for you. Thank you. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that breeze. <laughs> I think we're going to take a nap. It's so soothing, it's so nice hearing the like 
We have the train, the boats, the river boat for Magic Kingdom. Nice. And across the way, look, you can see Tron, Space Mountain, and even Cinderella Castle. You can see the Contemporary Resort. <laughs> He found another comfy seat. It is nice. It is nice. Look at that monstrosity back there. That's the DVC hotel thing that they're building. Hopefully it looks nice when it opens and, you know, regular guests can book DVC rooms too. There's a variety of ways. Here I am crouching in the sand behind Sam's chair. <laughs> Let's get a nice shot of him. And they'll put railings on it on the balcony. Yeah, for sure they'll put railings. So it will look uglier. Yeah, it'll look even uglier. Wonderful. <laughs> close to the wedding pavilion. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like really close to the wedding pavilion. Do you think one day in the future, the whole Seven Seas Lagoon will just be filled with hotels like this around the outside? Yeah, yeah, I bet it will one day. It's kind of a shame. I love it the way it is. And I wish we could preserve more, you know, green and open spaces, but it's just the way of the future. The whole of Orlando, it's like areas that were green just a couple of years ago are being filled with apartment buildings now. So, you know, it's just the whole Florida, really. The whole world, really. But are we here for existential crisis about paving paradise and putting up a parking lot? No, we're here to enjoy Disney World's Polynesian. So let's go inside and keep enjoying. <laughs> was that a good nap? That was a nice nap. Oh, God, watching you nap made me nap too. Too many sausages. <laughs> All right, let's go in. Is there a photo? Is that a photo pass? We just saw a photo pass photographer out here on the beach named Chris. Amazing, huge like props and he was so cool. We did a little tropical photo shoot out here. I'll show you the photos because he was just so fun and creative and yeah, and we took some fun photos. However the photos come out, the photo shoot was so fun that like we're, we're thrilled. That was awesome. We're gonna head back in, explore the lobby, and check out the shops. See what they got going on. It's such a beautiful lobby, and they always have unique merchandise in here. Dee dee dee. I'm not looking at the pineapple and I. No doll whip. Ah, nice. They have an activity in the lobby. Make your own kukui nut lei. Kukui. Awesome. So here are the prices. They're really, really pretty. Look at all the colors, too. And ribbon colors. So they teach you how to make it and they said it takes about 25-30 minutes to make. It looks like a really fun activity and anyone can do it. So there are two main shops here. We'll look in the big main shop first. They have Polynesian specific merchandise and right now they also have Moana, which is cool. That's one of those necklaces that you can make here. Look at this Dole Whip ceramic thing. Aloha Polynesian Village Resort. Oh, I really like it. And over here, they have resort specific. Look at these merchandise. These cool ears. They say Polynesian Village Resort on them. And those are $44.99. Ears can range in price, but the more specialty ones, you know. They have the robe. The resort robe, $99.99. A lounge fly. It's very cool, it's like a grass skirt. Look at the cool handle. And that is 78 for that one. This tiki lamp for 299 is so awesome. It's like the, they call them Maui, that statue in the lobby. Oh, look at this, salt and pepper shakers. They also have a selection of a mix of things. General park wear, shirts that you can find out in the parks, like Walt Disney World and stuff. Cause sometimes you're staying at a resort and you want some shirts some sweaters and then specialty tiki shirts and hawaiian shirts very cool they even have ties and socks and pants maybe it's for if you want to dress up and you didn't bring the right outfit hmm. they have a dvc section with the cute dvc stuff look at the ears look at this mug it's nice they got a lot of beachy wear this kind of looks like mickey's shirt somewhat that he was wearing Sort of. 
rain spooner. Aloha. It's nice. And look at these. These are Disney ones. That was us earlier sitting in those chairs. Bathing suits and beach wear and pool wear. Just in case you forget some. Women's bathing suits too. And suntan lotion, you know, pool stuff. <gasps> look at this cute mini shirt. They have pins and pin books and lanyards. It's a pretty good shop. They do have a lot in here. Look at this pin. Polynesian Village Resort pin. Very cute. They have a really good mug collection here because they have the big mugs, you know? We're all about only, only giant mugs from now on. Look at this giant stitch mug. I think he would like that. Look at this one. They're playing like a weird, it's a small world song. Tiki Room mug. I've never seen this before. Wow, that's really cute. Here are more Polynesian shirts. I love them. Look at this Dole Whip one. Lounge Fly Central. So sparkly. This is new to me. I haven't seen it. I think it's a Disney Vacation Club ornament. I think that's the map he's holding. Yeah. It's a sketchbook ornament. $26.99. And there's also a grad. If you have a graduate coming up. Listen, I love looking at Christmas ornaments all year round. Easter, so Easter is coming up. It is right around the corner. Mickey and Minnie in their Easter outfits. Oh, cute. Easter candies, Easter baskets. Most of the resorts have a thing where you can have them make an Easter basket for you. Look at this Stitch Easter basket. Beginning March 22nd through March 31st, you can find amazing ready-made Easter baskets in our merchandise shops. Cool. I think this is especially good if you happen to be here on vacation during Easter and you want to like pop an Easter basket in the room, you know? And the resorts will all have different Easter basket offerings. We got some Trader Sam's stuff. Oh look, so we have the Alumel section. This is one of Duffy's friends and I've got something of his that I got here once. Oh that, that purse. I bought that purse like two years ago here or something. It's super cute. Oh my God, cute. A new tropical Mickey and Minnie Christmas ornament. So like it's March and they're dropping new ornaments. Left. Oh, look at this Olumel ornament. Oh my God. I like him because he plays guitar and sings. He's the musical pal. This is all so incredibly cute. I want all of it. Look at this Olumel spirit jersey. A Disney friend of Duffy. It says Aloha, shows him surfing and then playing guitar. So cute. That's 85. These are Alani branded and they come with a little, like a little storybook. So cute, he's got a pineapple. Ridiculously cute, luggage tag. So much cute stuff. I can't take it. Let's check the other shop upstairs. This lobby's so full of light. Very pretty. And up here on the second floor, they have the Moana Mercantile Shop. They have the Stitch Attack Snacks collection. Look at these pens, that's so cute. Limited edition. These are like locked up. Ooh, there's one that's not. I can take a look at it. $34.99, very cute. And look at this, this is a different one from last time. He had a pretzel in the first iteration. This one's a lot cuter. Ah, so you see this? This is what's gonna be. He's gonna be attacking different snacks all year long. So in January, he had the pretzel, like I said. In February, he had the popcorn. In March, he's got like a little macaron, macaron thing. And this is what he's gonna have for the rest of the year. Cute. Oh, and in November and December, he's gonna have Christmassy holiday things. In October, a churro. Come on, could have been a pumpkin or something. Cool. So you can plan ahead if you want a special one. And they're all limited edition, so I really like this one. This has been my favorite so far. Look at his shirt. They also have a bunch of beach stuff, kind of general mix of things. Here's Mickey and Minnie in their Easter Bunny outfits again. Really, really cute. Disney 2024. And they have a lot of different dolls and figures and just a wide mix of toys. And then the other side of a shop is like sundries and groceries, food and drinks, things for generally people staying in the hotel. But anyone can come and purchase any of this. And they have specialty snacks and candies and stuff, very cute. And drinks and food and the special stuff in the cabinet. Very nice. 
Here's the Ohana check-in desk. They're only open for breakfast and dinner currently, not lunch, so no one will be here during. Now breakfast is basically over. We've been here for a while. It goes on through noon breakfast, so we must be past that now. Polynesian is such a... It's beautifully themed, beautifully decorated, a very special resort. It's just very different. Almost every resort lobby now seems to have a cruise ship. This is the Disney Fantasy. We haven't sailed on the Fantasy yet. Yet. <sighs> we will though. We love, love, love Disney cruising. And whenever I see one of these models, I get so happy. This one's like the dream, which we love. That was our first Disney cruise. And the satellite pool in the front was one of our favorite things. Adult area. The adult area on the dream was the best, the absolute best. Beats the Wishes adult area by far. Also, we like how you can walk around more free flowing on these ships. And the slide's bad too. The slide's definitely better. The open clear slide that just goes over the ocean just a slight bit was the best. Let's go. Let's go, let's set sail. <laughs> there are a lot of stairs here, but there also are elevators, just so you know, and a lot of gorgeous art. So this big map, which is really cool, you see Magic Kingdom up there and stuff, they're gonna need to update this because this beautiful in-between, what used to be an empty space, is now gonna be filled with that DVC resort. Better get the pen out. <laughs> You just breathe in the smell of the waterfalls and the torches. It smells amazing. It's one of the best resort entrances ever. It's always so nice to be here. We both really love the music and the atmosphere, the design, the theming, the vibes, all of it. We love it. We do enjoy Ohana for dinner, but it's very much a once in a while thing. Like we've done it once in the past two years for dinner. And breakfast, again, like I said in the beginning, I had only done once years ago. And Sam, same, he did it once years ago also. So we didn't know exactly what it was gonna be like, but just basically, it's really fun for the characters. It's really pretty to be here at the Polynesian. If you're staying here, it's a nice way to start the day. You can eat as much as you want, you can fill up. But I'm gonna continue to bring you more breakfast and brunch experiences at Disney World because there's a lot I haven't tried yet. Not a big breakfast person, but I enjoy trying something new. Recently, I went to Old Key West Resort and I showed you the brunch there and that was really, really good. Some, like this, are special because they're a character dining experience and some, are just the food. So you have to weigh that out in your decision. Do you want a character breakfast or do you just want really good breakfast food? Because sometimes they're two different things. The breakfast is $49 per adult and $30 per child. So it is pricey and it's something to consider. I think that if you want a character experience and it doesn't have to be breakfast, you could probably get more for your money for lunch or dinner. Let me know, vote what you would like me to do next, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and where you would like to see what you're curious about, and I'll do my best to do those. But all in all, I'd say Sam and I had a great time today, just being here together, hanging out, even though the food was just all right, the whole experience and the whole morning to afternoon that we've had has been lovely. So I hope you enjoyed sharing it with us because we enjoyed sharing it with you. Thanks for hanging out. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, aloha and stay enthused. Bye!